Hi, and welcome to Westerbeek. This is our multi-port fuel-injected gasoline generator. Today we'll spend time on basic troubleshooting and maintenance tips. Welcome to Westerbeek. We are a manufacturer and supplier of world-class marine generators, industrial generators, marine engines, and marine products. Our machines service many of the world's leading yacht builders and seasoned boaters who demand performance and reliability from their marine engine or generator. The first thing we'll cover is the initial startup of your generator. Before starting your generator for the first time or after a long period of inactivity, be sure to check the engine oil level. Check the oil level with the engine cold. It is best to let the engine sit unused for a period of time before checking the level. Remove the stick and wipe it clean. Insert the stick all the way in, then remove it and view the actual level on the stick. The two marks on the stick represent full and one quart low. The level is best maintained between the two marks. If needed, add oil to maintain the level at the full mark on the dipstick. It's important to also check the fuel supply, the DC electrical systems, the battery, and the coolant to ensure every part is in proper working order. The generator's starting battery should be either turned off or trickle charged whenever away from the boat. A battery rated as suggested in the operator manual specifications must be used. A dedicated and isolated battery is best. The battery should be clean dry and fully charged to a static voltage of approximately 12.8 volts DC or better. The terminals on the battery and the connections to the generator must be free of corrosion and always ensure good connections for the best possible performance. On first startup, you should also always check the engine for fuel, oil and water leaks. The fuel level in the boat is best kept well above the low mark. Your boat builder or installer can help you with that specification. Check fuel quality. Westerbeek recommends a fuel water separator be installed to protect your generator's fuel system. Refer to your fuel water separator manufacturer's instructions for safe practices. If water exists in the fuel, the generator should not be operated to avoid potential system damage until the problem with the fuel has been corrected. Next up, check the coolant level by monitoring the level in the factory supplied expansion tank. First check the level in the tank with the engine cold. If no coolant appears in the tank, the level inside the engine's closed system must be checked. To do so, Remove the pressure cap only when the engine is cold. The pressure cap is the coolant fill location and it's located on the engine's exhaust manifold. Add coolant to the system using the coolant fill information provided in the operator manual for your generator model. Coolant should appear in the tank at a level which is easily noticeable Graduations exist on the tank that are used for a mounting strap location as well as a level indicator. The cold engine start levels should be determined and recorded by the operator. When the engine is operated, the coolant level will increase as the coolant expands. After the engine has been shut down, the coolant will contract as it cools and it will return to its original cold level. Before starting your generator, the raw water through hull fitting must be in the open position. Westerbeek recommends a seawater strainer be installed between the raw water inlet through hull and your generator's seawater pump inlet. The seawater strainer should be checked to ensure no debris exists. If so, it must be cleaned to avoid restriction of seawater, which could potentially overheat the engine and cause damage. Be aware that in a no-start condition, the through-hull fitting should be closed when cranking the engine multiple times so that the potential for overcranking and filling the exhaust system of the engine or generator is reduced. 
Overcranking can cause filling of the exhaust system and water intrusion through the engine's exhaust outlets, resulting in internal engine damage. Be sure to reopen the through hull upon starting the engine. Each time the engine is first started, a quick check to ensure proper raw water flow with the engine's exhaust is exiting the boat is recommended. Be sure to always check the engine for loose hardware, loose hose clamps, and loose or corroded electrical connections before pressing the start button. Here's a quick summary checklist of items you should always consider. When starting up your generator, the start-stop rocker switch is the only functional component on the generator control panel and optional remote control panel used to start and stop the generator. The start-stop rocker switch is a three-position switch with momentary contacts in the start and stop positions and a stationary contact in the normal center position. This position allows the generator to run once started and enables one or more remote start-stop panels to control the start-stop functions of the generator. Pressing the start button will first cycle the fault indicator lights. Each light will illuminate. Then the fuel pumps will run. Then the engine will crank and start. After starting your generator, remember to check for proper operation and then allow the generator to warm up a few minutes before applying load. Please refer to your operator manual for more information regarding the generator's run LED located on the start-stop switch. The initial setup of the generator also requires that you or a mechanic bleed the air from the fuel system. This procedure known as priming or bleeding the fuel system, is also required whenever the fuel filters are serviced. To bleed the fuel system, first disconnect the fuel module from the engine wire harness. Attach your fuel pressure gauge set and direct the bleed holes from the pressure gauge into a proper container. Open the bleed valve on the pressure gauge, press the stop switch, and hold it depressed. This activates the low pressure pump. Observe the fuel flow through the bleed hose. When no air bubbles are seen, release the stop switch to close the bleed valve and observe the fuel pressure, which should typically be three to five PSI. Remove the fuel pressure gauge from the fuel module and connect it to the Schrader on the fuel rail. Reconnect the fuel module to the engine wire harness. Open the bleed valve on the fuel pressure gauges, press the stop switch, and hold it depressed. This activates both the low and high pressure fuel pumps. Observe the fuel flow through the bleed hose and when no air bubbles are seen, close the bleed valve, observe the fuel pressure. The pressure should be between 38 and 42 PSI. Remove the pressure gauge and replace the caps on the two Schrader valves. Ensure that all harness connections are secure, operate the generator, and check that there are no fuel leaks. Now you've bled the fuel system. When shutting down your generator to stop the unit, press the rocker switch to the stop position and release it. Once the green LED light has gone out, the engine is shut down. Before you leave your boat, remember to turn off the DC battery source of your generator as well. Completing the product registration form for your generator is an important step in protecting your investment. In the top navigation of the Westerbeek website, click on Register Product. Input your contact information, the product model information, and if you are a dealer, your dealer information. 
Once complete, click Submit. This will complete your warranty registration. Westerbeek will mail you a warranty registration card to the address you've provided. Please use only genuine Westerbeek replacement parts and accessories. Non-genuine parts and accessories can compromise your Westerbeek product, jeopardize your safety, and may void your warranty. Next up, we're going to cover maintenance of your generator. When connecting the generator to a water supply, make sure to use a quality hose with good wall integrity so it maintains its shape. Always allow for proper cooling since this maintenance is critical to the health of your generator. To properly discharge cooling water, quiet the exhaust and expel exhaust gas. Install a siphon brake. It's important to always check this list before every startup. Westerbeek also recommends a general maintenance schedule to maintain the health of your generator. Every month you should check the following. Then on a yearly basis, generator owners should check these items in addition to the operator's maintenance items on a monthly basis. When inspecting the condition of the raw water pump impeller, ensure all of the flexible blades are intact. If any are missing, the impeller must be replaced. Broken impeller pieces must be located and removed from the cooling system to avoid restrictions in water flow and possible engine overheating. Broken pieces can be lodged in fittings between the seawater pump and heat exchanger, or they often can be found in the ends of the heat exchanger. If you're in the United States, you can refer to our factory direct dealer list located on the Westerbeek homepage. To locate all domestic and overseas distributors, go to Locate Distributor, also on the homepage. It will take you to Westerbeek's Distributor Locator, which you can select from and contact directly. From the homepage, assuming you want parts for a 75 MCGA gasoline generator, Go to the products and select Multiport EFI Gasoline Generators. You will see current models listed here. You may need to scroll down further to select older models that are discontinued. After you select 75 MCGA, you will see View Parts in the upper right of the page. Click on the links to see parts in the kit part number of the kit and order button. Identify the part or parts you need and select add to cart. Then continue through our secure online checkout. Westerbeek's generator performance is matched only by our customer service performance. Powered by a worldwide distributor and dealer network. Whether the issue is parts, warranty, or technical service, our generator distributors and dealers are dedicated to making sure that every customer is taken care of in the most efficient way possible. Wherever you are, odds are that friendly Westerbeek Marine Generator support is close by.